Good afternoon. It's 3.30. It's May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yes, we have several things we're celebrating today. It's Teacher Appreciation Day, and it's also hand National Hand Sanitation, or Hand Washing Day, I believe, is the correct way to put it. And there's no more fitting time right now than to be washing our hands for 20 seconds, right? Especially if we go out into a public zone. Also, we need to remember to social distance, six feet away from each other. I just saw the McDowell News today. Guess what kind of grade, speaking of grades, that they gave the county for social distancing? D minus. Yeah, not good. So we've got to work on that, folks. We've got to remember. I know it's hard not to want to reach out and hug people because we're social beings, but we've got to really think about um, staying away, especially if we don't have a mask on. And even with a mask on, they say you still need to stay six feet away from each other. Okay, enough preaching about social distancing. Today's, uh, we're going to look at stress and relieving stress, basically. Um, I'm not, I don't need to prove the fact that we all have stress. That is understood. We all have a lot of stress in our lives, some less than others, but it's just the way of our world. So we're going to focus on the relaxation piece an exercise, an exercise we're going to do right now, which you can carry with you all the time. Okay, now I want to go back to uh, talk about uh, Teacher Appreciation Day. And I want all of us to think a minute, close your eyes, think a minute, think of one of your favorite teachers that you've ever had through your schooling, through your years of school. And remember about that teacher. Remember some of the things that you liked best about that teacher, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about, I had several really good teachers throughout my years of school, so it's hard to pick one, but I'm gonna pick one who um, was at West McDowell, we used to call it junior high back in my day, uh, Miss Virginia Hobbs, Miss Hobbs, God rest her soul, she's no longer with us, but she meant a lot to me now, believe it or not, she taught English. She was an English teacher at, at uh, middle school, and um, but I never had her as an actual classroom teacher. But let me tell you something, folks. Other teachers that you work with or are involved with can also teach you quite a bit, uh, whether you sit in their class every day for you know an hour, hour and a half. Um, the reason I got to work so closely with Ms. Hobbs is that she was the student council sponsor, teacher sponsor, and I was in the ninth grade. Now, this is before ninth grade was in high school. Back in my day, ninth grade was in middle school. So I was the student body, student council, student body president, and she was the sponsor. So we worked real close together. She was a wonderful lady. She believed in building relationships with her students, that they understand that she cared about them, that she wanted them to work hard and to, you know, achieve. And she helped. We did a lot that year uh, in my ninth grade year. It, we did, we built a float for the 1776 to, to 1976 200 celebration. Yeah, we had everybody one day eat in the cafeteria. Can you believe that? All the students ate. That was the goal of the nutrition person at that time. And I believe our school, because we did a lot of advertising and trying to get people to, every, that one day everybody eat in the cafeteria. Don't bring your own food. We successfully did it. I don't remember which day of the week it was, that nutrition week, but we got the award for that. So we did quite a bit um, that year. And a lot of it was the fact that Miss Hobbs put into all of her students' head in some way, in her own kind way, without us even knowing that if we believe it and dream it, then we can do it. And that's something any of your better teachers will have the ability to do for you, okay? So that's my memory of one of my favorite teachers of all time. All right, 
I hope you can think of one. You can send, you can put a comment in, just put a name if that's how you want to do it. Um, that would be wonderful on this Teacher Appreciation Day. Also, they say tonight at 820 around the country, they want people to cut their outside light on or some kind of light on in celebration or in honor of teachers all over the country. That's at 820 tonight. Okay, let's move on. I've got four words to add to the mood meter. Yes, I do. And I'm going to move over here so we can do that. I want to do this really fairly quickly because I've got to get to our relaxation exercise. Okay, the first word I'm going to pick is apprehension. What does apprehension mean? Okay, so that is course in the red it's minus four but it's only up two on the energy so you're not too overly exerting energy on this one however it is minus four apprehensive means that you are not sure about something you need to do or you're fearing something that you may need to do so you may hold back from doing it right you're apprehensive Okay, the next word we're going to do goes in the yellow. It is, this is a word you're familiar with, proud. I am proud. So that is positive four and positive two. So it goes right there. Proud. Okay. How do you feel when you feel proud? Well, usually you've accomplished something. You've made straight A's. You've um, got a real important science project done and you made a really good grade on it so you're proud of your work you're proud of your achievements right that is what proud is all about okay the next word is one you're familiar with as well it's grateful and it's positive four and then two down here because when you're grateful you're not completely out of energy you're you're here now what does grateful mean another easy word is that you're thankful about something or for, for something that someone maybe has done for you that's being grateful okay i am grateful for my family okay so what are you grateful for now let's get over to our last word this is morose uh that word we don't use a whole lot morose and it is of course both negative negative four over and negative two down Okay, um, what can I compare morose to? It's a lot like, um, where's the word? I don't see it here. Uh, oh, I think it's covered up. It's a lot like sullen, okay? However, when you're morose, you're also not only sad, but you're ill-tempered. It's made you ill-tempered. So your morose may be sort of mean feeling too with the sadness, okay? So there's all four that we've done, and we're up quickly. We're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So what is fourteen times four? What, did I count that right? Fourteen? I thought it was thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nope, it is fourteen. Fourteen in all four squares equals what, folks? Well, you do 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. Makes it 4 times 1 is 4. 1 is 5. It's 56. Yes, we have got 56 words. So that's great. Okay, let's get to our relaxation exercise. I really want us to focus on this because stress is always going to be a part of our life, whether we like it or not. And whatever tools we have, in our tool shed to combat stress we need to use okay relaxation is one of the best ways to do this all right so I'm gonna talk you through a relaxation exercise that I want you to listen and participate in now to start I need you to sit if you're gonna sit sit comfortably in a chair have your arms down by your side. Don't have your legs crossed. We want blood flow to be able to get through all parts of your body, through your legs. You can also lie down on, a, on the floor or on a couch, 
as long as you are, are comfortable wherever you're located, okay? What I typically do for relaxation exercises, I close my eyes. You can also stare ahead, straight ahead of you at some point and just keep your, but it's a lot easier, I think, just to close your eyes, okay? So just do, I'm gonna talk you through this. So just do um, what I recommend that you do and we will work through this. It's a wonderful, prepare to get relaxed, okay? So we're gonna start off with deep breaths. I want you to breathe through your nose, deep, make your stomach come out, and then exhale out the mouth. Take some good deep breaths. This helps bring oxygen into your blood, into your lungs, and then it, it gets processed, as you know, and oxygen gets through all parts of your body, which is a, helps you to relax. So you keep deep breathing. Next, we're gonna do a body scan. Now I want you to visually, in your mind, scan your body. We're gonna start at the top of your head, and I want you to sense any tension that you have in your head at the top at the crown around your eyes your nose your mouth find where the tension is in your head don't try to change it right now just find a note that it's there now scan down and work on your shoulders your chest notice if there's any tension there where is it Scan down to your stomach area, your core. Where's your tension there? Is there any tension there? Move down to your hips, that area. See if there's any kind of tension that you're holding in those areas. Scan down your legs. Scan to your knees. Do you have any tension there? Just observe it. Go down your shins, your calves. Any tension there? Scan down to your feet. Do you have any tension in your feet? Now, I want you to think about the fact that you found spots where there's tension. I want you to do an overall quick body scan again to remind yourself where you found tension in your body. Okay, we're gonna go back to our breathing. Okay, and as we breathe in through our nose, we're going to breathe in relaxation. Okay, you're going to breathe in relaxation and it's gonna feel throughout your whole body. As you exhale, you're going to exhale all the tension that's in your body. You're going to release it to the universe. So let's get ready and deep breathe. And as you breathe in, you're going to breathe in relaxation. You're gonna bring it into your body. And as you exhale, you're getting rid of tension, okay? So take several good breaths. Breathe in, relaxation. Breathe out, tension. Breathe in, relaxation. Breathe out, Tension. Breathe in. Relaxation. Breathe out. Tension. Okay, 
Now I want you to clear your mind. We're gonna have, we're gonna focus on one word. We're gonna see that one word in our mind, and it's relax. So with each breath, your mind is going to say to itself, relax. Each breath, relax. Each breath, relax. Deep breathing, relax. Deep breathing, relax. Now you continue this exercise with the sense of your breathing in relaxation and your breathing out tension. And eventually your body, if you do this long enough, your body will continue, will feel calm, it will feel like it's melting, like it's just completely soothed, okay? Totally relaxed. You will have no more tension in your body. So um, you can do this for as long as you'd like. You can stay in this right now. Just remember when you wake up or when you come back and start your life again, give your body time to fully wake up. Stretch your arms, your legs, get the blood flowing again. Don't just jump up from where you're at because you will get dizzy. So allow yourself to wake up gradually. And remember by breathing in relaxation and breathing out tension, you can do this anywhere you find yourself overstressed. Whether it's at school, whether it's at work, take a moment, step aside, and take breaths in saying relax. Breaths out, you're getting rid of that tension. And remember that. And if you practice this relaxation exercise enough, you will be able to take it with you wherever you go, whenever you need it. All right, my time's up. I hope you enjoyed that and keep using that as a tool. You have that in your tool shed now. See you tomorrow. Bye.